So we're doing the Virginia Triple Crown. Um, I'll show you the map in a second. But when I say we, I mean me and Sean Goff. Hey. And we're gonna do a Dragon's Tooth, Tinker Cliffs, and McAfee Knobs. So we're at the Dragon's Tooth parking lot right now. And this is uh, where we're at, right here at this parking lot. And we're gonna go south about two and a half miles to Dragon's Tooth. And then visit that overlook and then get on the Appalachian Trail there and head north all the way up here to Catawba campsite. There's a shelter there, that's the one we're targeting. And then tomorrow morning, get up and hike the two miles up to McAfee Knob and hopefully get there early, see the sunrise um, if possible, that'd be great. And then we'll probably have breakfast there or this campsite, Campbell Shelter, right after it. Then we'll hike into Tinker Cliffs. And then after Tinker's Cliffs, we're gonna take a uh, left up here on the Andy Lane Trail to get up to North Mountain. And then get up on to top of North Mountain here and then find the first campsite that we can, uh, that we can occupy here and then head out on Sunday morning. Uh, this is all relatively flat compared to what we're doing here and, and down. So we'll hike along North Mountains Ridge and then down back to the parking lot to the car here on Sunday morning. So that's it, we're getting packed up. I think my base weight is a little heavier. I got a 20 degree bag, it's gonna be cold uh, and rainy. Uh, it's supposed to rain on Saturday. 100% uh, chance, Sean? 100% chance with thunderstorms. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I think my base weight was um, 20 pounds, uh, and then food and water. And what was your base weight? 18. 18 pounds. So, yeah, this is our hike, and we'll film more on the road. Thanks. Before we get started, I should also mention that somebody dumped about two liters of water in the back of the car. So, like, a lot of this stuff is wet. It's all right. He has to deal with most of the problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So this is the entrance. See, I always start with so. So. This is the entrance to Dragon Tooth. So, <laughs> we're getting ready to get started. Let's go, man. On mile? Maybe a mile. And a yeah. Halfway to Dragon's Tooth. Halfway? How do you feel? I got a good heart rate. <laughs> All right, yes, yeah, so we gotta take this little dip and then it goes up, and we've been on switchbacks the whole time. So, as you can tell by my sweat and Sean's, it's been a little bit of a workout. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, we'll check in in a bit. Of a mile. <laughs> yeah, we're not far. It was a, it was a climb. <clears throat> a little bit of a climb. Definitely challenging. Yeah, the rock scrambles. And we're not even at really the bad part yet, where they have handholds built into the rock. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs>
man, check this out. So we made it up to Dragon's Tooth. Uh, this is the view. <laughs> Obviously that's not the complete view because there's no way I'm going to get up there. Fear of heights and all. Are you going to get up there? Um, I haven't decided yet. I want to see my access points from the other side. Oh, yeah, good point. So I guess we got to go up through that little hole. I want to get pictures but I don't want to fall through that. Nope. Yeah, I think you gotta climb through that. Oh, cool. Beautiful mountains. Nope. Oh, we're gonna go back up. Well, up and then slide down on our butts. See you guys. We just came down from Dragon's Tooth. Yep. It was pretty strenuous. I didn't film, I didn't film all the all of it coming down because I filmed it going up. But it was pretty pretty sketchy sometimes coming down. Yeah. Now we're on our way to McAfee Knob. We already got a climb. Yeah. Right away. We got eight to ten miles to go from here. It's definitely gonna be dark in the hike before we get to the shelter, and we're gonna be, I think, happy to be at the shelter tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. We'll see you. Yeah, nice view. Yeah, it definitely just came down. Did you guys switch back again? Oh, I wonder, maybe we cut down the hill straight ahead. 
Um, I can't tell. Uh, can't tell. Just be careful. Yeah, it kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Any blazes. I wonder if they were on these trees. Ah. There's a blaze right there. I know, I saw the one where right, right on the tree by you. Oh, yeah. So it's definitely this way. Perfect. Some of the Appalachian Trail on this section passes through private land. That's the section we're on right now, kind of open into like a little field. See some cows over here. And uh, and right there, look at him, white cow. And these tiny little gates, tiny little gates to go through. There's a white cow. Cows up here. Real close to cows. Hey buddies. Yeah. That's so cool. Sean and I are taking a break. It's been brutal. <laughs> yeah, much needed break. I mean, we haven't really gone that far. It's just a very... About seven and a half, eight miles. Yeah, yeah. But it's just a very strenuous hike. It's a lot more strenuous than I think either one of us really thought. Dra Dragon's Tooth is just... Uh, if you're doing that and then I think continuing up to McAfee Knob like we're doing, um, 
be prepared because I mean our, our legs are, are pretty wiped out already and we still have like another six to eight miles to go so but we decided you know we're gonna have to hike during the night anyway we haven't really had any lunch so get something to eat get something to eat see if it can feel better yeah having a little kicking chicken from packet gourmet should make a couple of wraps what are you having I'm having tuna fish and minute rice. Tuna fish and minute rice? With peas. Nice. <laughs> Lunch is over and we're hitting the trail. It was a well-deserved break though. Yes. We really needed it. Absolutely. All right, let's get going. sunlight now so headlamps are coming out it's uh 6 35 so we'll i don't even know again how far we are from no idea yeah we're just keeping going keeping going yeah we're three and a half miles sorry 3.9 miles from mcafee knob which means we should only have like another couple miles a mile or two, depending on which shelter we go to. Yeah, to get to the to get to the shelter. So we should be. I think we should be okay. Yeah, we found the silver lining with the uh, trail marker. Yeah. So we should be in bed before ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Once we set up camp and eat. Definitely yeah. looking forward to yeah. that. Yeah. All right, we'll check in later. Actually, we might not. We might just check in in the morning. Morning. So we're at the um, what shelter? John's Spring Shelter. Um, yeah, and we're having breakfast. As you can see here, we've got pretty much everything laid out. The bags already packed for the most part, except for food. However, we ran into an issue last night. So I've loaned Sean one of my hammocks, and I didn't inspect them before we came on this hike. So one set or one hammock didn't have any tree straps. So we actually strung his hammock up, cut the remaining straps off, tied one into the tree, and then in the cinch buckles so I could at least be up off the ground. And it, it worked, it wasn't perfect, but it worked. But now that ruins the trip because you have to cut it off the tree. Now we really have no extra straps. So we're claiming this is a mechanical issue on my part. Um, we're gonna still go up to McAfee Knob. And that's, what do you say, about a mile from here? Two. Two miles, so about two miles from here, be a good trek up, and then um, turn around and head down. It's like 3.9 miles, let's say four miles, back to the parking lot where we'll get picked up by either my sister-in-law or Sean's brother. So we'll get two of the three this trip. So we just left the shelter. We're heading up to McAfee Knob. Two miles, right? Roughly. Two miles. Yep. So we're on our way to McAfee Knob now. I, I don't know, we probably went like a half a mile or so, but we just start packs at the reforestation area right by the fire road just to make it a little bit easier to get up there but looking forward to checking out the views absolutely yep So we we're uh, hiking down from McAfee Knob. It was pretty awesome. awesome. The view was great. There wasn't a lot of people there, so we were able to take some pretty good pictures. I'm not showing a lot of the trail going up and down because we dropped our packs and I usually put the GoPro on the pack. So um, anyway, it's, it's not a bad trail going down. Going up, it's, I mean, it's all up. Wouldn't you agree it's all up? 
It is all up, it's but it all was not up. nearly as bad as Dragon's Tooth. Yeah. So this is uh, just a trail shot. Of course, that's all going down now. But um, so we're gonna grab our packs and head out. We came down from Mac Knob now. We're gonna take the fire road out. Um, we left our packs up here in the trees. Uh, we figured they'd be safe and then we didn't have to carry the 30 pound packs all the way up to McAfee Knob and back. Um, it's been a good good hike. I'm glad we knocked out like two of the three. Um, again, the mechanical issue with uh, not having tree straps is kind of forcing us to give this hike up. And we also checked the weather and it doesn't look like it's actually gonna rain till about 6.30. So we definitely could have made through Tinker Cliffs had I have tree straps for one of the hammocks. Anyway, we're gonna, like I said, get packed up, head down the fire road out to the parking lot. Back to the car so we're at uh, dragon's tooth parking lot and we just got loaded up put on some clean clothes now we're gonna go grab some lunch and syntax it's cheeseburger time it's fucking upside down Is it? there we go yeah no nope, still upside down Supposed to auto rotate. <laughs> uh, you're probably gonna have to lift your bag up. 